So look, let me ask you guys a question, man. We got 6ix9ine. He on stage, right? He on the big world stage right now on a chair pointing his finger, yeah. telling on they everybody, say, they right? They your CBT. It's crazy that your boy 6ix9ine, he on a stand, he pointing his finger, he telling on everybody. And I'm like, you know what? It's crazy because he's as big right now as he was when he first came into the game. Think about it. When he came into the game, man, he was popping. None of these rappers, Meek Mill, 50 Cent, you know, Lil Wayne, nobody that's getting busy in the rap game was able to drop an album was able to drop a mixtape when your boy Shikachi was moving and shaking he had the internet buzzing right now he got the internet buzzing for a whole different reason and I understand but I want to ask you guys a question are we mad at 6ix9ine or should we be mad at the people who created him now, think about this. You see a kid in the street, right? He got a little swagger. We know what the people like. We know what the females want to listen to. We take this little kid and we create this little kid, right? We tell him, yo, this is how you're going to dress. This is how you're going to walk. This is how you're going to talk. This is the set you're going to claim, right? And this is how you're going to move. And then it become a success. You understand me now? These gangsters, these OGs know that this dude is soft. They know that this dude ain't cut from that cloth that you need to be cut from when you talk and not talk and dealing with things that these guys was actually dealing with. But they created him. And now that the little kid is successful at taking the swagger that they created and he moving and shaking, the people who created him got angry at him because the swagger was 1,000 and he's feeding these dudes and he start taking notice that these dudes ain't nothing without me. You see what I'm saying? Look, look like, like Chikachi 6 9 he knew that these dudes couldn't breathe or eat without him. Man, he is the bag, right? So when are we going to be angry at the, at the OGs for, for not protecting the bag? For not securing the bag, for not pointing shorting in the right direction, understanding that this guy is really not a gangster. We created this. You understand me? The people, right? We got them thinking it's a mirage. They see something that they actually don't see. We the guys who are moving and shaking behind the scenes, allowing this kid to go from state to state, talking what he's talking because we got his back. You understand what I'm saying? But you know, from the the Jim Jones, that that the Jim Jones audio was just killer, man. They was talking about super violating the bag, bro. They wasn't talking, like, what kind of advice was he giving, my That G? was bad advice to coming from a cocksucker like that. Look, Jim Jones is the same guy, right, that told Cam, look, Cam, let's make up a fake beef so we can have the streets buzzing, get attention, put out an album, sell records. That's a clown move. Cam exposed them. That's how we know about it. And Cam was like, nah, I'm not with that. You think what I'm saying? Anything that I do is organic, man. My point is this, man. We got to start looking at the OGs that put this kid in a, in a messed up situation. Now, I'm all, I'm all, it's cool for me to, when you got a OG, right? Or just a dude that is dominant and he see weakness in other people and he take advantage, you know, the best way he can to put the bag in his pocket, to secure the bag for him and his family. I'm not mad at that, bro. I'm not. You understand me? But here's my point. When you got an OG that's, that that understand, that should know, right? That's why you OG, because you should know these things. You should know that, hey, 6 9 is the bag. Let's take this dude to different levels. Let's take this guy and do different things. And we, on the back end, is going to be able to eat 100 I, I want to say their names, but I don't want to, for the sake of this video, like, these dudes wasn't that smart, man. You understand me? Trust me when I tell you, man. 6 9 was popping, bro. I mean, anything he did and touched, the dude was selling, my G. I heard that he was going tall in the UK and all that. He was like, yo, I went out there and I didn't get paid much. I just did it for the experience. Trust me, those dudes behind the scenes got paid for that tall, bro. They had this dude, man, and they was just violating, man. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just tight that, you know... It, 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 they, they didn't do it the right way, man. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if you got somebody out there and he's he's the, he's the face of what y'all trying to do, if he's the face of your organization, you could have painted the picture a little bit different. And you could have made this dude more successful. In turn, you guys would have been successful. None of you dudes was rapping. None of you dudes was popping. None of you dudes was hot. Nobody want to listen to you dudes on the radio. 6 9 was the guy, man. So they messed up the bag completely, man. Am I saying that him on the stand pointing the finger is a beautiful thing? No, but I'm telling you, man, what else could he have done 
Think about it. You created a sucker into a gangster. So you knew that he wasn't about that life. So what did you expect when the heat hit the fan? <laughs> the he think he was going to tell like he's doing right now. He's doing what he's supposed to do. That's why I'm not mad at him. You feel what I'm saying? Like if I smack on a square, a square in the street. He's doing, if he go tell on me, he's doing what he's supposed to do, bro. If I go into a company, right, and I smack on the, the employees in there, like, they working people. If I start smacking on them, what are they going to do? They're going to call the police, right, because you dig? they not about that action. They're not going to get their cousins. They're not going to the, you dig what I'm saying, under the mattress. They're going to call 911 because that's what they do. So what do you expect Chicago, what do you expect 6 9 to do? He pointing the finger at everybody and anybody because he's not gangster. He don't live by that same code. And then you guys took his money. Y'all robbed him. Y'all beat him up. Right? Y'all was manipulating him. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all basically say he was never nothing, a part of nothing. You dig what I'm saying? He was just a face behind on, on, on the microphone that was getting putting money in y'all pockets. So he was just trash to y'all, right? So what do you expect a guy like that? How you expect him to feel? He's supposed to do what he's doing right now, bro. It's, it that doesn't make me, you know, I'm not I'm gonna stop saying. You dig? Like that doesn't make me a guy who condones snitching. I'm, I'm making points. So my points are telling you that he should do what he's doing right now because of the points that I said. So I'm not going to be saying I shouldn't. I'm not with that. My point is this, man. Them dudes had the opportunity to do a lot of different things. Without 6 9 them dudes, wasn't nobody. There was three guys that was moving and shaking. It was hard for them dudes to get a buck. They found the kid with a swag. And they, and, they, and they turned them into a thousand and then, they, and then they got millions and then they acted like animals and they couldn't control the bag, point blank period. So I'm happy he's doing what he's supposed to be doing right now because that's what he's supposed to be doing. You rocking with your boy CBT. I don't, I don't care how you call it, man. You dig what I'm saying? Because that's just crazy how everything is unfolding and we're hearing everything that's went on, that was, that's been going on. It's like y'all was doing him dirty like that, bro? Like what? You crazy? Like, y'all dudes is the biggest idiots, and y'all respecting these cocksuckers out there. You dig what I'm saying? Then in, in, in the streets, y'all crazy too because y'all created this gangster. Anything that 6 9 touched, y'all was on top of it. Y'all was banging with. You feel what I'm saying? So, what y'all couldn't recognize a sucker when y'all seen a sucker? The first time my son showed me this dude music video, bro, I'm like, yo, who that? <laughs> What's this trash? He's like, yo, this that? I'm like, yo, bruh, stop playing, man. This dude is sweet as a, this dude is sweet, son. You heard like I off the wreck. So for you dudes running around here talking about oh six nines and snitch, you was the same dude that was supporting, that was banging his music, right? Calling him, you know, the big homie and everything like that, running up on him, asking him for autographs. Now he the biggest snitch, right? So you the biggest sucker and you got played too. How about that? You rocking with your boy. Peace.